Hi everybody, I'm Victoria from Sleek Technique. I'm an ex-professional ballet dancer and the founder of Sleek Ballet Fitness. Sleek is a method based in dance and classical ballet. Traditionally, we don't use much equipment for this, but today I am taking you through a resistance band workout with these Fit Beast resistance bands. There's a great selection in there. And this is a fantastic way to just up the resistance if you feel you are plateauing in your workouts or to build a bit of extra strength and tone if you feel you really need that extra push. So let's get going. So starting in parallel, I'm gonna go with a mid-weight 15 pound band. Take up the slack by wrapping round or you have the option to use the hand grips. We're gonna start in parallel, making sure there's enough tension on the band. You can keep your arms in a nice equidistance all the way through. We're starting with a rowing action. Take a demi plie and stretch up and just put a bit of tension on the band and open up through the chest and then recover. Again, rowing action, slide along the knees, checking you're tracking at all times. Your knees should be over your middle toes, stretch across the chest, relax the neck, recover. Good, let's take this a few more times. Push up and stretch between those shoulders. This is great for our classical port de bras and also tone in our arms, warming up the body gently before we get going. Again, release and final time, row down, lift up and stretch. Good, coming back to a neutral alignment, we're gonna stretch up over to the side. Again, keeping tension and equidistance between the hands, stretch into those obliques. Come up through center using your core stability, stretch to the opposite side. You'll feel the length and contraction on each side of the waist and recover. Again, stretch over. Pull up, recover. You'll feel this in the backs of the arms if you keep the tension between the band. Really multi-purpose. Extending over to the side. Draw back up to your center. Again, lengthen over and back up to your center. This time we're gonna continue round. Full circumference, take a bend into the legs and sweep it all the way down past your shins. Up and over to the opposite side. Lengthen and extend. Take your bend, sweep it down and round, keeping tension and full stretch through the body. Well done, relax it off, give those arms a little shake and turn the feet into first position and we're gonna repeat that all again. So first position has the added benefit of really engaging your glutes. Wrap around and clench your bottom cheeks together as if you're holding a $10 bill. We're gonna take this rowing action one more time, plie, draw the arms up and push behind. Good, breath in and exhale out, stretch up and recover. Again, plie, push and extend, zipping up those kneecaps every time and working those adductors to draw the legs together, warming the upper body, toning up our arms, stretch and hold it here. Well done, lengthen out to the side, work those obliques. A little faster, second time through and extend, up and over, lengthen to the side, up and over, lengthen to the side, and this time can you plie. Now as you take your demi plie and turn out, this might feel a little destabilized, but that's quite good. <laughs> Helps to work our core up and over and release, all the way down and round and straight away, let's step to second. Same thing in second, take your demi plie, lift. Breathing in and breathing out a little quicker as we get warm, push back. And rowing action, extend and stretch. Extend and stretch, same thing to the side, up over, stretch into the waist and lengthen. Good, you'll really feel this into the arms if you keep that pulling tension between the band and up and over, and you'll feel it into the waist as you draw back to center, up and over, take your demi plie. Now, if you're not used to classical training, keep this in parallel, that's absolutely fine. But if you're used to working in turnout, this should feel good coming upwards and release it off. Good, give those arms and legs a little shake. We're gonna to come to first position. Turning to first position, heels together, toes apart to your natural turnout, slipping the band underneath your heels. You can either take hold of the loops on the band or grab your wrist grips. Now, we're gonna take a breathing action with the arms from demi bra back to our bra bar position, keeping that frame of the body. So we breathe with the opening out and squeeze it in. And again, think of drawing those inner thighs together, working the outer arm and those pectoral muscles as you keep this frame and shape. Again, Demi, 
pull up and stretch. So you can see how doing this movement with that added resistance creates tone into the upper body. It's a fantastic movement, demi plies with breathing arms on their own, but you have to do half the amount if you're adding in a bit of resistance. Well done, stretching up. We're gonna take one leg back. So we've warmed up through two legs. Let's go down to one. Destabilizing slightly on a lunge, a classical turned out lunge rather than parallel and traditional fitness. We're gonna start with our arms pushing back towards the back of the room. So taking up the slack again as much as you need or grab your hand grips. We're gonna to press towards the back of the room, keeping those elbows pulled up. Go for eight, seven, six, five. Now transferring the weight onto the front leg, we're gonna let those arms float up. So pull up and exhale out, working into those deltoids. Breathe and exhale. So the legs are working hard in this fondue action. Fondue means to melt. So we're working that single leg plie, nice and smooth, and hold and pulse, second set. Work those arms back towards the back wall. Give me four more, three more, two more. One, pull up with your breath in. Exhale out and push as far as you can, working into those triceps and into that back. Give me two more. And push, extend. Last one, lift and press extend. Good, you might need to shake those arms off just gently in between, but switching over to our second side, make sure the band is securely underneath the sole of your foot, over your front leg with your weight, arms go back behind the body, let's pulse it out. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, then pulling up, breath in, exhale out. Again, pull up, and press it back. Deep breath in and exhale out. Good, so although the focus is on our upper body, we're also working our lower. Well done, pulse it out. Work those arms behind you. Give me four more, three more, two more. One, again, breath in and exhale out. Breath in, pull up the knee and bend. Again, breath in and exhale out. Last time, lift up and press it back. Well done. Releasing off, give those arms a little shake. We're gonna switch over. Switching over now to a slightly lighter band and I've added on my foot strap. I'm gonna place it over my supporting leg. Taking hold of the second side, we're gonna draw our elbow back as we bend. Again, onto one leg in parallel this time. Then pull this arm across your chest as you transfer onto the opposite leg, side lunge, working into our torso. So work our back as you push the elbow back behind the body, stretching up towards the opposite corner of the room. Again, pull back and press extend. So you can work into your higher level bands here as you progress, but get that action first before you progress up to that 30 pounder and push away. Again, we press and push to the corner. So working our abs in this cross rotational direction, so much more functional than working crunching ab movements. Draw back and extend. Good, so making sure we're nice and even, switching over to the opposite side. And again on the second side, Push that elbow back into the band, resisting, working into our back, then working into our abs as we cross twist the other side. Again, draw back and push, extend. Again, work with the breath and extend. Good. Now, after doing this a few times, I definitely feel like I could go up a level. You might find that too. So working those big muscle groups of the legs, that nice transfer lunge, working into our lats, working into our torso, Push and press and extend to your top corner. Draw it back and extend. Well done. Work into a few more sets of this each side as you get stronger. But for now in this little demo, we're gonna hit the mat and work our legs. So for this final exercise, I have added my hand grips on for a bit more security and I have gone up to 25 pound resistance. We're gonna start on all fours with the band looped over one heel. We're gonna lift up and extend this leg behind us to work that hamstring. So a full extension of the leg, then a controlled bend and close. A full extension of the leg, working our hamstring and glute attachment, as well as the big muscle of the hamstring in the back of our legs, securing in our torso and keeping strong across our shoulders. Good, again, drawing back. You might get a little quiver on here. It's a really controlled movement. And extend. Again, draw it in 
and extend. And the final time, we're gonna make sure we're working in turnout for this. So turn your heel to the back and toes to the front and pulse. Working into our glutes now. Again, strong grip and strong across those shoulders. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. So this can be taken in parallel, but turnout is so effective for shaping our bottoms. Dancers have great bottoms. <laughs> Stretching back, lengthening out into the shoulders, into the glutes, and then coming back, wrap the band around the opposite heel and then extend. Lifting that foot up behind you again, let's push it out, extend and contract with control. Extend, keeping strong across your shoulders. Again, kicking out, under control, extend it out, and under control. Well done. Extend, and contract with control. Extend, keeping strong across your shoulders. Again, so really strong controlled movement. And last one, we're gonna turn it out. Heel faces to me, let's pulse it, eight. Good, pressing up towards the ceiling, not letting it go too low or even too high, parallel to the floor and just above. Good, four, three, two and one. Well done, you can take this a couple more sets each side if you wish, releasing tension off the band before you sit back and stretch out into those shoulders, into the backs of those legs. And finally, coming to all fours, take a little stretch out of those shoulders and arms, we've worked them hard. So rest your head and shoulder down to the floor. Hold this for a few breaths and repeat the other side. Hand comes underneath, relax the shoulders, neck and head to the floor, getting a nice deep twist and a stretch across the back and the backs of the arms. Coming back to all fours, tuck those toes underneath, press those heels to the floor, stretching out into the calves, into the hamstrings. Remember, if you can't get your heels flat, step them a little closer towards the body, or if you have got them flat, you can step away and really work them harder. Starting to walk your feet in towards your hands. And hang there for a moment, give everything a little shake, either with straight legs or a little bend to protect your lower back, draw the tummy in, rolling up and shake everything out. Well done for joining me for this short, effective workout. Add this one into your routine and I'll see you in the next one.